Hey everybody, this is Andrew from the Master of One podcast, and I am bringing you a special how to play video on the brand new game Burger Battle from our friend Andrew Heath. Now right away, you get the idea this game is about burgers. You're going to be building burgers, you're going to be blowing up other people's burgers, you want to try to build your burger the fastest. So right away, when you start off, you get one of these cards, which is your burger card. So as you can see, there's all different types of burgers. There's things like the Sunrise Burger, the Golden Burger burger, the shroom burger, the cowboy burger, and so on. Each burger comes with it a list of eight ingredients. Your goal is to get all of those ingredients built on your burger the fastest. So at the very beginning of the game, you hand out all of the burgers. I believe you can play with up to five people for this game. So divvy it out to all of your friends. And then once you've done that, everybody gets five cards in their hand. So just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to play with my cards out. All right. So this is what your hand looks like. You can have anything from ingredients like you'll see over here. Um, I've got the, uh, the shroom card right here. Uh, I also have the onion card. I have the lettuce card and I've got barbecue sauce jalapenos and then I have this other kind of card which is the battle card this particular battle card says I got nothing and I'll show you what that does here in just a second so that's really what you have you have two different kinds of cards other than your burger card you have ingredients and you have battle cards battle cards can be played either on yourself or other people depending on what those cards do so once you have your burger, you lay it down in front of you. It goes directly in front of you face up so that everybody around the table can see what burger you have. And more importantly than that, they can see what ingredients you need to finish your burger. First player is the first player or the last player who has eaten a burger. So uh, keep that in mind if you're going to play this game. Um, you might want to go ahead and, and stash a burger in your pocket. Take a bite right before you start. You never know, that might help you out uh, and get you, get you a head start. So when you start the game, you have five cards, like I said. When you go, you draw a card. Now you can draw a card from the deck or you can draw a card from the graveyard, from the top of the graveyard, and you can play that as one of your ingredients. Now here's how it works. I already have my burger kind of set up just to show you an idea of how this works. You've got your burger in the middle. You place your ingredients to the right in, two, in, in your list over here, and then you place any battle cards that are played on your card uh, on your burger over to the left. So um, let's say I, dr I draw my hand. I don't want what's happening there. I draw a card here. Oh, now I have an onion. An onion is a, uh, an ingredient that I need on my burger and is one that I don't currently have on my burger. So I can take this onion, lay it down, and I can draw again. When I draw the, the card again, I realize, oh, I have a shrooms card. I don't need shrooms on my burger. So I don't have any more cards that I can play that are on my burger. Um, so I'm just going to take my, my card and I'm going to dis. Uh, discard a card so I take a card and throw it into the uh, into the graveyard and that's one of the ways I can finish my turn so I'm gonna take this shrooms card that I don't need I'm gonna put it on top of the graveyard now if the person to the left of me needs shrooms for their burger I might want to be careful and not play that one because they could then pick that up and have a head start on building their burger but for now for these purposes that's how I would end that turn another way that you can end a turn is by playing a battle card so playing battle cards is um, a way that you can attack somebody else also help yourself and they do a whole variety of things here are a handful of them the one that i have currently on my burger is the burger force field which allows me to protect my card um, from other from my, protect my burger from other uh, hurtful battle cards and it keeps it kind of in a nice little force field there is a way to destroy that and i'll show you in a second um, and then i have one that someone else has played on me which is the pickle plague that means that i have to play an additional um, ingredient which is pickles on my burger so my burger already needs pickles that means I have to get two sets of pickles on my burger uh, in order for me to complete my burger and fulfill the game um, but here are a couple of other ones uh, you have the yours looks good card this is where you take your burger and any uh, any of the battle cards that are or any of the ingredients that are connected with it and you can trade it with somebody else so if you know that somebody is almost done with their burger they've got seven of their eight ingredients and you've got two 
you can play this card and get their burger and you will make them very mad but you get very very happy because your burger is now f much further ahead than you were before another one you can get is the grave digger the grave digger allows you to dig into that grave that graveyard right now it's not very high but as the game proceeds you'll notice that the cards stack up and ingredients get played in there you can use this grave digger card to go through the grave and find an ingredient that's been discarded that you need for your burger and that can be uh, you play that card immediately and it goes to your burger grave digger card is a great card and then this one which is the the one that really kind of gets everybody riled up this is the the infamous burger bomb the burger bomb you throw it down on somebody and you say um, essentially every ingredient that you've collected for your burger thus far goes to the graveyard and you got to start all over again and uh, you can get very close to the end of the game and then someone throws one of these burger bombs on you and it wrecks your whole afternoon um, so these are a, a handful of them there's a sample of them um, but another way that you could also uh, another thing that you can do to end your turn is by playing one of those cards the, the goal is you never have more than five cards in your hand when it's not your turn so at the very beginning of your turn you draw a sixth card you play a card and if it's an ingredient you can play it like I just did you can pick up another card and if that's an ingredient you can play you play that as well and you can do that as much as you can or as much as you're able to before you run either out of uh, available playable cards or until you finish your burger and and you win um, but let's say you can't do that uh, then the way that you have to get down to that is by discarding a card that you don't need or by playing a battle card so in this particular case let's say I just my, my turn started I drew this card I don't need grilled onions but I do have now a handful of cards that I don't need for my burger but I have this card. It's a battle card called the I Got Nothing card, like I said earlier. This card allows you to take all of your hand, all five of these cards, stick this card on top, toss it into the graveyard, and you get to draw five brand new cards that will help you out on your next turn. So the goal there is to hopefully refresh the deck for yourself so that you have playable cards the next time around. So in this particular case, it goes all the way around. It comes back over to me. I now have ketchup and mustard which i already have on my burger i have meat which i already have on my burger but i have a couple more battle cards that i just drew so i have another burger force field i have a destroy card and i have a gonna eat this so i can use on my turn i can use this gonna eat this card to steal an ingredient from someone else's burger that i need for mine and play it on my burger immediately that would end my turn but i would at least be one ingredient further along in my burger than i was prior to that turn another card that I could have played here is the destroy card so any battle card let's say I have this card at the end of my turn I have no more ingredients I can play on my burger I can take this destroy card discard it and get rid of this pickle plague card that someone has played on me now I no longer have to get two sets of pickles the one set of pickles I already have on my burger will do just fine so as you see, you have these battle cards that go back and forth. Some are good for you, some are bad for you. Um, and you've got all these, these lists of ingredients on your burger. And uh, you go all around the table, taking turns, and the first person to get their burger built wins the game. It's really just as simple as that. It's not that complicated of a game. It's incredibly fun. Uh, the best part about it, I think, is the ability to... Uh, um, really get someone when they think they're about to win because they've got seven out of the eight of their ingredients and then you throw a burger battle uh you throw a burger bomb down or you um trade that burger with them and now they have your crappy cards another battle another battle card you could get is the switcheroo which allows you to switch hands with somebody else so maybe their hand they're holding on to a bunch of cards that you need um and they're deliberately not discarding them because you don't they don't want you to get them you can switch the the hand with them and maybe you'll be better off but who knows you might be giving them cards that they need as well so um it's a really really fun straightforward kind of game ultimately uh it, it's when you're playing with five people it can take about 40 minutes to play the game if you can stretch and get more people in there we've done that a couple times um and it makes the game just take significantly longer it's doable but uh i wouldn't recommend it this game is so so fun it definitely has the ability to have expansions put onto it we've already thought through a couple of ideas that would make it uh even more fun with some expansions that could come along in the future but ultimately what we would say is get this game it's going to be an excellent addition to your uh, your game shelf and an excellent fun playthrough on your game nights so that's it you can go watch the playthrough we have a video for that um where we just play through a whole game 
with four of us, and it's a ton of fun. But for now, uh, that's how you play Burger Battle. Go and enjoy some burgers.